Hello everyone, welcome to another video. And this time basically we have uh, match properties uh, with some twist around uh, choosing parameters and how we deal with uh, their values basically. Let's create a couple of uh, showcases, then I will show you the Dynamo. So at first let's play with doors. Okay. Uh, in order for th this to be useful, let's for this element change the type. We can also change some parameter. Let's play with this one. Okay. Uh, it does not have sense, but for us to play with this script to show that we can manipulate with parameters. Uh, it will serve the purpose. Okay, so let's run the script. Uh, the user interface is very simple, but it has two layers. So at first we need to select what is a sample element, uh, what is the element from which we want to take the values, and then we need to choose target elements, like the elements uh, for which we want to transfer those values. So sample must be one element, but targets can be any number of elements. It can be one or more. So for example, let's say that those are our targets. We need to click finish over here. And now we need to go to the second layer, choose parameters. And what the Dynamo will do for this element, uh, which we declare as a sample element, uh, the Dynamo will read uh, the list of parameters and if you uh, can see over here at first we have instance parameter so all of those are instance parameter then you have this type parameter so from this uh, row uh, we will have all type parameters you can select um, any combination of parameters you can select one or two instance one or two type or you can select all parameters but then it will be easier for you to just click select all and change basically the door uh, so okay let's play a little bit so what we want to change we want to change type type is essentially instance parameter because every each instance have a right to be a different type so we want to change the type and we also want to copy this value for head height, this uh, which I did set, mm, and that is it basically, set values, so uh, 76 with 2.26, we did change the type, and we did also change this head height, um, that's for example for doors, of course you will find also some uh, different uh, use cases. For MEP, let's play a little bit maybe with lights. So, okay, for lights, let's uh, check a couple of values. So, for this light, let's say that we want to use that light to be sample. So, let's, for example, declare some description. I don't know. And let's also check the, yeah, so the power is 64 watts, okay, and let's also uh, change some instance, I don't know, test. So in the comment parameter, which is the instance, we did put test, we did declare description, and also what I would like to do is to change the power Okay, so over here we have 64 watts, over here we have for this type 150. So we do not want to change the type of the lights, we want to change just the power. So let's see if we can do that. So our sample will be this element, our targets can be those elements finish what we want to change 
is regarding instance parameter comments so we want to add that test 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 value uh, regarding the instance regarding the type we want to change wattage or power and we also want to change description set values let's check now so we did deliver this test value to instance parameters but let's also check uh, description we did copy and power we did also copy so uh, it is possible it is possible let's also create some uh, use case for diffusers but there are no on this level this is as you probably know how to desk sample file okay very satellite feature okay okay here it is so uh, similar similar story let's create a couple of we can put it over here also so and let's also show that uh, we can we can change the levels okay this will be our sample level 2 to point 45 let's say this on the level 1 1 point doesn't have any logic but just to show that we can do that uh, let's see that currently we have 15 pascals let's change the unit uh, kilometers per hour no decimal space okay our sample have three 160 let's say okay we can leave this one to be uh, and over here we have 21 pascals over here we will say that currently they're having 24 pascals so we need to change the levels we need to change total pressure flow and again let's also grab some type let's say no but for this sample let's say that we know the cost the cost is 400 of something and is it the same type no it is not so over here we do not have a cost perfect so let's try again sample this target those elements finish choose parameters flow 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 total pressure we want to change elevation from level and the level for instance and cost for type this one set values okay level 2 to point 45 okay 21 21 oh this is a sample sorry this is a sample 360 21 360 21 and also cost we did copy the cost and basically that's it you can find your own purposes for this script now we will go to dynamo okay this is the entire script uh, we have uh, some nodes regarding the first layer of the user interface so uh, we need to select one element as a sample element we need to select some number of elements as a target multiple input form we will deliver our inputs to this form uh, from this form basically we will then let's just run the script so you can follow the results okay so we did select one sample element two target elements we will took uh, our sample element and for that element we need to 
uh, read all the parameters and we need to send that list of our parameters to the second layer of user interface that is the one thing also we need to took all those target elements and then at the end we will need to set new values for those elements uh, over here so we have a python script uh, that will basically read for a given element as i did mention over here we will need to present that list of parameters to the user the user will choose some parameters over here we can see what the user choose we will flatten that list and we will send that to this uh, written nodes basically we have two written nodes uh, one is to get uh, the values and those are very very good nodes credits for these nodes to join so why those nodes are very good because over here at the input uh, you can have either instance or type parameter and this node uh, is able to handle both uh, both uh, parameter types so over here at the input you will deliver that sample element that the user choose uh, over here you can have either just instance just type or combination of instance and type parameters and this node will read basically their values then for these target elements over here you will deliver target elements uh, and you will deliver your parameter names and then what you have as a value again it's not important with this node uh, will you provide instance or type parameter this node will handle both of them uh, and it will set those new uh, values so that is it for this script thank you for watching bye